Good afternoon. Another cold night to come tonight, but then it will turn much warmer through Friday and into the weekend. It's also going to turn considerably drier in the south through the weekend and then more widely through the start of next week. That's because high pressure is on its way. And you can see that area of high pressure on the satellite picture quite clearly out in the Atlantic at the moment. Now, ahead of this area of high pressure, we've still got low pressure in charge and a cold Arctic northerly wind. That's bringing that chilly feel through the rest of the day and overnight tonight. It's also bringing in quite a few showers, particularly across northwestern areas of England through the Cheshire Gap, similar to where we saw some very heavy showers yesterday. But as the winds shift to more of a northeasterly through this afternoon, the showers will become more focused across eastern coasts of the UK and it will turn that much drier across more western areas. And where we do have a bit more shelter from that northeasterly wind, it will be a slightly warmer feeling day across more south and western areas. But expect exposed to that breeze across the north and east, it will feel fairly chilly. So as the winds are a little bit lighter today, it will be a slightly warmer day, but temperatures are still widely well below average for this point in September. You can see that by the blues on this map saying, showing temperatures are between three and six degrees below the September average. And we're still at a fairly early point in the month. And that cold feel will continue into this evening. It's probably going to be a colder night tonight compared to last night. And cl as clear skies develop, quite widely. There'll still be a few showers clipping the coasts of parts of Scotland and in particular the coasts of Norfolk too but elsewhere it will be a clear and dry night and as the winds turn much lighter we could see a bit more of a widespread rural frost. Towns and cities will stay above zero but in the south we could be down as low as minus one or two, minus three or four across some northern areas and there is some lying snow over the very tops of the mountains in parts of Scotland so a bit of a wintry scene for some of us to start the day tomorrow morning but as I said it is turning much warmer through Friday and into the weekend and there will be more in the way of sunshine on Friday lasting into the afternoon. So that does mean that there it will feel that much warmer. The winds will be lighter too. They're starting to develop more of a southwesterly wind through Friday. That will drag in some cloud and the next band of rain for northwestern areas so some hazier sunshine to come for Northern Ireland and western areas of Scotland but elsewhere a dry and bright day and as I said it will be a warmer day tomorrow compared to today. Temperatures still a little below average but highs of around 16 or 17 degrees in the south, 14 or 15 further north and west and I think with those lighter winds and more in the way of sunshine it will feel that much warmer than the past couple of days. Now this wet weather across the northwest will continue its journey into parts of Scotland throughout Friday evening where it will bring wet weather through the start of the weekend. That weather front will push into parts of Scotland north northern areas of England before it sinks southwards into some areas of northern England and parts of Wales. But high pressure is set to dominate across the south through this weekend. And as I said, that high pressure will become more widespread into the start of next week. But you can find more details on next week on our latest 10-day trend on YouTube. See you again soon. Bye-bye.